Hello there and welcome back to Parkitect. Yes, back on Parkitect once again, going to be continuing our campaign run uh, that we've been doing, trying to get every single challenge completed. Uh, last time we had uh, finished that one. Um, and also, uh, you're probably wondering, you know, where's Foundry? It's just like, well, I mean, I'm trying to you know trying to do both of these games so i thought it'd be uh that'd be a lot of fun to kind of switch between the two for a little while maybe see how you guys like it you know, that kind of stuff <laughs> yeah let me know but uh yeah i definitely wanted to get back into this game immediately now as you can see this one we had gotten both uh with with all the goals and the optional goal which is to complete all the non-optional goals by the end of december year one uh, which was a pretty cool park. Um, I think uh, I think we did a really good job with it. It might have might have went a little too crazy with it uh, at the beginning, but hey, it worked. <laughs> so that's all that matters. Um, was a, uh, I enjoyed doing that. Uh, like I said, I wanted to get back into this game again. Uh, maybe once we complete the campaign, maybe then we'll go to our own kind of personal uh, kind of sandbox park where we you know manage the park as if it's normal but we don't really have any goals or anything there's just it just build the park until we get bored type of deal but i'm enjoying the campaign so far let's uh kind of like the uh planet coaster campaign i definitely enjoyed that so i want to enjoy this one too which this one is called the chanute the chanute chanute uh something like that airfield <laughs> as a small airfield has been abandoned and now its land has become available for use this looks like an ideal spot for an amusement park if you can or yeah if you can work without the or with the limited space which we did last time it wasn't very open um the old airport structures our landmarks and need to be preserved and i destroy everything uh scenario have at least 250 guests in your park uh, so that's non-optional. Uh, so we need to complete this by the end of June year two. Optional. This is optional though. Sell 400 park tickets. This is complete all the non-optional goals. I'm just going to try and complete this all at all at the same, uh, all within this time period here. Um, and then yeah, complete all the non-optional goals by the end of June year two. All right, and we can also do these multiplayer too, which is cool, but. Let's just give her a go. Let's see what we can get done. Oh, by the way, uh, let's go ahead and pause that. Um, so, yeah, we've already read this. Um, this is how I play, by the way. So if uh, if you ever want to complete these type, type of timed goals in these type of games, uh, the first thing you should always do as soon as you get into the game, pause it. Because pausing t pauses your timer. And you can build anywhere outside of that, so... That's a pretty cool. It's a yeah, it's an old abandoned airfield. Um, now I have built. That's weird. Okay, so what I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have people walk down the taxiway, or maybe the runway. I'm not really sure actually. Um, we might use the grass in between to kind of. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Oh, that is nice. Good job with that. Uh, it's a little glitchy, but good job with that. Hiding that inside of there. Uh, inside the airplane hangar. So nobody's going to be able to see that at all. Um, we might do an airplane hangar style of deal where we uh, put where, where we put a lot of the rides inside of like hangars and stuff. And then we have like, maybe we have like the, uh, we have like the props and stuff out here. I mean, that would take up a lot of space, though, unfortunately. Um, I guess it does, just depends. Uh, but yeah, I have built my own coaster. I don't know if we're going to get it available, because uh, we're probably not going to do any research. Um, yeah, it's like, depending on the coasters. It's like, yeah, we're probably not going to do any research, because... Uh, let's, let's pause this. We're going to put everything on hold. Um... Because we don't want to, we don't want to be wasting our money with that. So, uh, because uh, all of our only goals uh, are to let's see, whoops, let's close that. Where's the park? There it is. No, that's not the park. There's the park. Uh, 
you know, our only goals are to have 250 guests in the park and sell at least 400 tickets. That's it. And we get five grand for completing that one. Uh, and we need to do this by year two. Uh, so, yeah, that's our only goal. So we don't need to do any research. We don't need to... I mean, we really don't need to do any research. There's plenty of rides here. Uh, we got a car ride, which is basically a thing we can build for people to ride around on. That'd be kind of cool. We got a big old Ferris wheel again, which I'm, I'm planning on using that. And then we got a plane carousel, which looks good. And then, of course, we got four thrill rides here. We got Wipeout, Jumper, Twister, and Gravitron. Those are pretty popular. Uh, and then we got some coasters. Of course, uh, I'm not going to waste my time by building my own. Uh, I'm just going to uh, place down pre-builds. No transport rides to have. Oh, we do have a log flume. Yeah, that makes sense. Increased popularity during high temperatures. Ooh. Is this high, is this high temperature? So something else I figured out while I was messing around the other day um, is you can actually turn off the weather. Uh, you can actually click this, uh, and it will... Uh, turn off the well it won't turn it off it'll change it back to sunny or whatever uh, at least that's what happened to me like it was raining i was just like i was trying to get an Im a photo image uh or i was trying to get a screenshot and i was just like ah man and when i click i was just like stupid thing and i clicked this out of anger because it was raining right when i went to take the picture uh, or take the the screenshot and it changes to sunny so i'm like oh <laughs> well then <laughs> anyway let's get started here um I'm not a fan of... I do like the way they... do actually. Oh, dude, that's smart. That is incredibly brilliant. Because you can only put... Um, you can only put coaster, coasters... You can only put uh, benches and stuff on the ends... Or on the edges. On the outside edges of... Uh, of your pathway. But this, they put a... Uh, they have a rail here to cut the pathway so that I can put benches in between. That's brilliant. <laughs> Would have never thought to do that. I'm going to keep that in mind for the future. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're going to be doing... Yeah, let's do light... Oh, wait, what is this? That's gravel. I want to do concrete, but I want to do light concrete. I select like that color. No, it won't let me select the color. Um, yeah, that, that's close. So something else I figured out too, and people probably were screaming at me about it, but let's say I place down this path right here, right? And I'm just like, no, nah, I don't like that color. Before, I was deleting the path and then putting it back down. You can actually just paint it. So it's just like, and you can change it to whatever you want. So let's say, oh, I wanted a red brick, actually. Uh, I just <laughs> I can do <laughs> whatever. Uh, I was so mad when I found that out because I man, I've been complaining about how we're how we're having to uh, delete the path to replace it, and now here we are with with this brilliant uh, thing. This is actually a good idea. I might use this as like a, a food court area uh, into um, well. I don't know about the food court. The food court areas are always hard to do because they, they're uh, because of the way they are. Um, I always like doing the main pathway, and this one looks like it wants to be. Hey, you know what? Oops. Let's just get rid of that. Um. Like these pathways here, I don't want this, uh, yeah, I want that. There we go. It's like, yeah, you come out, you're like on tarmac, essentially. Uh, maybe we should, maybe we should go with the standard. And device, no. It's like, yeah, maybe we should go with the standard kind of pathway. Yeah, so it's like so it's like you're walking on the runway essentially and what we'll do is uh we won't mess with this too much we could try to refurbish it but we can't really there's 
like, you know what, maybe. Let's try this. Oops. Up oh, too bright. Ah. A little brighter. Just try to match this color here. I think that's close. Close enough, I think. What's this? Sidewalk slabs. Oh, that's where they were getting the slabs. Okay. No, we're just going to go straight asphalt because, uh, yeah, I want to try to make it look like you're walking on uh, the areas here. Um, yeah, like that. That's pretty brilliant. Let's check the uh, decoration. Yeah, look how hidden that is. That's pretty good. Even though the pathway doesn't really show that kind of thing, it's still pretty good. Um, yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll take a Ferris wheel. I'm going to throw this Ferris wheel like... Oh, this one's centered on one, isn't it? Yeah. I can I still like kind of doing this. Yeah, we'll throw the Ferris wheel right, right there. Um, this time we won't do the water thing, but that was that was that was a pretty cool build, I, I will say. Yeah, my entrance, exit. Okay, cues. Yeah. Oops. Okay. So we got our Q. It's like not not many people are gonna be wanting to queue up for this, so we'll just do a double back one. That'll work. Okay, and then our pathway. I think I am gonna triple it, triple it up just to uh, just to center the Ferris wheel here. And what we'll do? Just like that. Go right on up. Yeah, we want to do something similar to what we had last time, because it actually worked out really well. I mean, we had so many guests in the park, it was crazy. However, this side... Yeah, we're not going to go past this, so... Yeah. No, I am thinking about a food court area. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, it's just like, yeah, yeah, I think that could be good. We'll go three by five, I think. There we go. go three by five that will have shops either side of it. Um, we should be able to get path back here. Um, we'll go underground with the path to reach this side, I think. Something like that, anyway. Uh, so then, yeah, that, that does make me go, okay. What was that? Uh, C goes underground, right? Yeah, we want to go underground at least two, I think. That'll hide. Not really sure. The only thing I will complain about, though, definitely is the the path controls are a little weird uh, sometimes. Okay, let's straighten that out. Three up. Yeah, 
And then we'll just go boop. Okay. That's how they'll get to the food court area without being seen, essentially. Because it, it, this this game, they, you know, people don't like to see the... They don't like to see the paths and stuff. Oh, crap, yeah. I messed that up, didn't I? Well, the, the path can't get any f closer, so... Yeah, we'll have the path go here. And then we'll have to... Delete this normal path, and then we'll have to put the other path here, then. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. Well, I mean, we don't have to have... Or do we have to have? Yeah, I probably should have... Um, Put it, like, right there. Actually. Yeah. Employee path. Okay. I'm deleting the other employee. Whatever. Okay. That way I can just see. <laughs> So we want to back it up to here, is it? Back one. Hide that path. There we go. Yeah, screw them boxes. <laughs> can I delete them? Yes, I can. Okay. We didn't need them anyway. Okay. Wait, is this employee? This is employee path, right? Nope, that was Q's. Ah. Yeah, right click kind of selects. Now ah, we're on employee path, okay. So now we can go, we'll go one more, then, and then, a like, bit like that. Okay. I actually decided to put a, uh, decided to put a depot way over here, because, man, that is a long walk. I mean, the employee path will still exist, just, yeah. That was a little bit insane. Oh, we can open that. That's open. All right. It's an employee path. To there. No, to there. Yeah. There we go. We'll just hide that right up against the building. Okay, I think I'm going to have two sides to this, actually. Um, let's close out all this crap. Uh, you know, leave the views open. I actually kind of want to... Can I, can I like, pin this? There we go. Oh, no, I can't pin it. Oh, wait, no, that's unpin. Pin? 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 I actually don't know. I actually want to leave that, that, uh, that option open right there. So that's really handy to have always on screen. Uh, so, yeah, it's just like, I'm just going to leave that open. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Immersion. Uh, uh, well, we don't have any people, so... Yeah, the one thing we do want to look at is decoration. And you can see this pretty pretty bad decor. Uh, and the uh, employee path is partially what's causing that, including this building. So, we have to, uh, we have to hide that. Um, first of all, yeah, we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to put down... I think I'm going to have food on this side. Food and drink. And then on this side, we'll have the, uh, like, the balloons, uh, the info kiosk, the toilets, the shirts, the mini donuts, jeez. Uh, the shirts and maybe the vending machine or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll kind of I'll kind of work it out. We'll see. Yeah, you, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we put this inside of a big old hangar. Like, at least this portion, then we could have a covered food area. That'd be pretty cool. 
Uh, I believe we actually have those decorations. Go down to walls. Now we s wait, no, no, no. There's a there's a very specific section. Yeah, hangar. There we go. Uh, sheet wall. Yeah, see. So yeah, what we could do is we could hide this path from both sides, so there'll be like an inner wall and an outer wall. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Thinking as well. kind of hiding the employee path. Actually, we don't need to do that. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Is there like a... I thought there was a different type of wall in here. Yeah, there's the other one. Um... I actually like this type of uh, this type of sheet wall. It's, uh, uh, that one's got divots. I don't like that. I like the other one. I like this one. However, I will paint this one white. Well, what color are these? I want I want this color here. Uh, Control C. Okay, then we'll go over to this wall. Control V. There we go. Yeah, just kind of paste that on all these. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, and these two. And that one. And Dota one. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, and then we probably want to have we want all these to be the same color too. There we go. Oh, and these. So that way everything, because uh, most hangers are going to be, if they're made of metal, they're going to be the same color, so. Um, that works, though. I like it. Okay. So now, continue with the walls. Um, yeah, sheet wall. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, and then we can, what we can do is we can hide this. Uh, yeah, because the other path is going to go this way. So we'll hide it up to there. Well, we might go a bit further. Maybe up to the fence. Yeah. We'll go right up against the fence there. Wish you could drag it. <laughs> I don't know why the walls don't connect there. That's weird. Yeah, like I said, we're going to have an inner wall. Um... People are not going to be able to see. Oops. That goes there. Do it like that. Alrighty, that should do. I spent... <laughs> Six grand <laughs> already. <laughs> we have a single ride. Uh, a single ride in a massive building. Oh, man. This one actually, 
I actually had to look up how to build something like this. But and the reason is is because the walls and the roof didn't want to connect. So I actually learned something. When the roofs and walls don't connect, uh, there's these little things. It's under borders, and is this thing? I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Cornice, cornice, like ice, or is it? Yeah, or like rice, corn ice. Yeah, maybe maybe it's corn ice, corn ice. Bernice, whatever, crevice, <laughs> whatever the heck. But yeah, you have to use these pieces and these will uh, do your edging for you, um, which looks really good. So yeah, this actually, it turned out actually quite well. Um, I just wish this stuff, this type of stuff would have been in the hangar option so I know, but that's okay. If we hit the V key here, as in Victor, uh, you can now see that this is completely surrounded so they cannot see any of that pathway now at all and if we actually look at the decoration tab look how much decorations in here we haven't even finished yet uh oh it's because they can see the employee they, they're like out here they're like the decoration's terrible because i can see that path like, screw off anyway <laughs> so basically i want to take this entire hanger and i want to duplicate it over here uh, so then we can have the rest of the shops and stuff, but uh, this is not quite done yet. Um, the one thing I do want to do, let's turn this off. Uh, the one thing I do want to do, the reason I got it on nighttime right now, uh, is because I want to um, I want to try this out. So uh, let's go to fences. I have an idea because this right here this gives me an awesome idea fences 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 where are the fences again fences so there's this type of fence it's called a curb and I'm like we could put this curb uh, to block out and we can go all the way to like there so basically what this does is it puts a border uh, around the pathway. And we can put it on both sides, why not? But that ups the decoration even more. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And then what we can do, go back over here, go to paths and or, or path attachments. Uh, we're going to put some lighting in here and some benches. So I kind of want to go to the, the, with the design of benches they already had, which is these. Because I actually kind of like these. Um, yeah. And if we hold shift. Yeah. I got all the seating. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put lamps between here. Look how much. Oh my gosh. I, I love how well that works. <laughs> so that's how you that's how you get a, a decent seating area so i'll have to mention that to uh i'll have to mention that to dragon next time we play uh you know i'm gonna go with um wait they do have these type of lights but i don't want the floor lights i want see i want uh big old lights kind of like yeah what kind of lights would you have in here would you have these big old massive now you would probably have like well these are gonna sit right in the middle yeah, these are going to be, like, right in the middle of the... Should we have them on the outside? Yeah, let's have them on the outside. So we'll remove a couple. Oh, well, balls. Uh, put that back. I really wish there was an undo button, but I have not found one. If somebody knows of an undo button, let me know. <laughs> uh, if there is. Yeah, you guys can uh, help with tips and stuff. I don't mind. Yeah, those don't provide a lot of light, though. But these do. Well. Uh. I don't know. I could do better. I think I can do better. Uh, there actually is... If we go over here, there actually is a lighting section. I thought it said lightning the first time I read this, but yeah, there's a lighting section. And we can use those same lamps because they have a lot. 
of light, we can also use these too. Uh, which these will, well, and they don't provide a lot of light from far away. These are the lamps I was using with, no, uh, these ones, yeah. These are the ones I was using, yeah, because they provide a heck of a lot of light. Uh, if we can put them, it's kind of hard to tell. And I can't zoom in any further, which is kind of annoying too. Uh, yeah, and the grid just makes things worse. <laughs> How do I know? Let's see, where's the middle of the shop? Because I think we're at the right height. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we need to change the grid size then. There we go. I think we're at the right... No, we're not at the right height. Too high. Um, you know what I probably need? Uh, let's go to back to wall... Or go back to uh, hangar real quick. Now, the other thing I've noticed, too, is that the colors keep glitching out <laughs> on a lot of this stuff, so it is a little bit annoying, but it works. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I was already. I think that's... Yeah. Because there is no, like, archways or anything. I think that's at the right height. Uh, it looks like it is. It looks like it isn't, actually. <laughs> Looks like it's slightly lower, but I can't I can't go up any higher, otherwise I go into that wall. Uh, into that wall piece, so. I might have to just go with that. There we go. I don't know why the the walls sometimes just don't want to attach. It's weird. Um, but we can easily fix that with border. I mean, not that it's going to matter. We can't see inside of there. And they're not going to, you know, the guests aren't going to really care. So, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it doesn't cover them up too much. And since we can still see those, we can also go over to, go back over to lighting. And grab these lamps. These are the most powerful lamps I've found so far, other than the spotlights. The spotlights go from the ground up. These ones are more like... I change the grid size. Just grid size again. Yeah, we can't go here because that's too low. There we go. And then yeah, let's just have these stick out. Yeah, because I'm holding down all the camera rotation is locked. There we go. I mean, that's not bad. I might put more of them. Oops. Well, there goes that. I just have to go by memory. Well, I'm at the right height, so it shouldn't be too hard. And I've already got the grid size set. There we go. I mean, it's not bad. Um, but we do need some more lighting on the ground, I think. And we can go with... Yeah, that's the thing is... It's like right here, it's kind of dark in the center. It's like we could like throw down these lamps. <clears throat> okay, that's a little much. Um, 
That'd be the only lamp that fit in here other than these. I hate that though. I might just deal with that because yeah, the the path the, the path lighting with the with the path attachments one sucks. Um simply because of the fact that you can't you can't put them anywhere you want. Okay. Do they have any trash cans? They don't. All right, we'll just go trash bins. So what this trash bin would probably fit the best, huh? Trash bin there. I was gonna put one here. You know, yeah, I'll put one there. Why not? Oops. Okay. You know, for this specific one, uh, oh yeah, how are you supposed to delete the walls when you can't see them? <laughs> she can't. Um, I don't know if I can. I can delete. No, I can't delete that wall. That wall's there forever. I was going to put a path and a gate, but yeah, that wall's there forever now. <laughs> because otherwise I'd have to... I'd have to tear apart the ceiling. Yeah. Mm, you know, it might be worth doing, though. Unless... Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah, that's the basic idea, anyway. It's it's mostly lit up in there. <laughs> it 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 works. Oh, I'm hiding everything. Don't hide the paths. Just hide the scenery. There we go. Yeah, it mostly works, and the shops can all get uh, they can all get their stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna slap it over here and fill it with the uh, with the other ones plus the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom one as well. Uh, or something, at least. I was like, I might... What I might do is I might put the bathroom here. Oh, wait, no. The pathway's gonna go this way. It's fine. Okay, and after spending over half of my money, or almost half my money, no, it would be half, wouldn't it? It's 25. Yeah, I've spent over half my money. And all we've got to show for it. <laughs> Do we have any employees, by the way? Currently employed. No, we got nothing. Alright, so we're going to have to hire a mechanic. Uh, you can be there. A mechanic. And a hauler. And a janitor. Okay. And should we hire a security guard? No. And no entertainer. No, we're good on that. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot. Whoops. Hold on. Um, but yeah, I got both my hangers and I added windows in here so we can get some natural lighting during the day. Um, wait, why isn't this connected? I just... Did I accidentally delete the connection? I think I did. Oh yeah, and I accidentally deleted the path connection there, too. Wait, what? No, that's connected. Uh, hide the scenery, hide the paths, hide the attractions. That is totally connected. Oh, wait. How'd that happen? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. All right. Give me a tube. There we go. Now she can stop complaining that she's not connected. Okay. We need to we needed a connector to the main depot. Um Oh yeah, I needed to add another depot here too. Um So the depot uh, uh we'll just we'll have to put it on the other side. Uh show the paths, please. There we go. So that one's going to connect to there, and it's going to serve these. Um, yeah. There we go. OK. 
Okay. Now how do we do the connection system? I forgot. Oh yeah, we click on this add. You're gonna serve that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Oh wait. Do you even need to serve this? Yeah, yeah, you know what. Screw it. <laughs> okay, that was done. Now this one. Add. You're gonna serve all of these guys. Yeah, we got one hauler to uh, to make sure this happens. I might do two haulers. Um, uh, let me get another hauler. And you can go over here. Okay, so paths. Employee path. See, so if we hide the paths. Uh, that'll work. Oh, whoops, I think I accidentally deleted... I did. <laughs> it's fine. Um, we can then go down. I think that's connecting. That was an employee path, right? I don't know why I closed this. All right, the paths. I think that's connected. Yeah, that looks to be connected. Okay. Also, I don't know how this path ended up in here. Um, probably an accidental placement. But yeah, that uh, that hides all of that. Okay, so then, so that our peoples can get over there. Um, I'm going to pull this path to here. And we're going to put a little gate in there. So what I did for the gate, I actually got a gate in here as well. Um took a minute to delete that and put the gate in there, but it works. Uh, so then, let's, let's close out of everything. Close out of everything. Show this. Don't hide the scenery. Uh, delete that. Let's go over to gates. This one, which I already have colored. And then put it right there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I am might put a uh, privacy fence here. Or we could put some more walls, I suppose. Give me these things. Give me this. Thank you. Yes, yeah, people don't like seeing this. So we're just going to put a wall up. Will actual gates hide that? I'm actually curious about this. Like, what's the visual rating here? So, decoration. Uh, oh, it's just like, what the heck? <laughs> okay, so if I take a normal path. We pull this path by here. Yeah, see, they can see the employee path. Now, I'm really curious. What if I was to put up a chain link fence? Oh, that's a gate. Uh, just a straight chain link fence right here. Would that hide the employee path or no? It would not. All right, interesting. Okay. So the game know, does know the difference. Because if I take if I take and I go, well, I want uh, this fence. See, it, yeah, it straight up changes it. So it does know. That's pretty cool. Uh, So I guess now my next question is, what about this type of fence? No. Okay. So they're pretty smart. That was just a, a curious little thing. I don't want to put up like a hedge wall or anything weird. Uh, it's like, what can I get away with here? Oh, oh, well, I can get away with that. Get rid of the fence. <laughs> So I guess it has to be a straight privacy fence. 
which we will do. I could put a wall there, but I, I kind of want to have a fence, you know what I mean? Because that makes more sense. There we go. So yeah, they can't see that. Play path. Okay. And they have a direct line to that. What we could do is we could have a gate right there. And have a just a normal path. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what we'd put here. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm down to eight grand now. <laughs> this is uh, it's getting a little crazy. Um, yeah, we need to get some rides in here. So this is a pretty good ride. We could stick like right here, per se. Yeah, just like right in the middle. I actually like that, okay. Okay, why can't I stick this here? Oh. Still path there. There we go. Path there. Stick that right in the middle. Okay. And then... This is not really a thrill ride. It's more of a kitty ride, so... Don't imagine the queue being too long. We could put the entrance back here and have it run back to the normal path from there. Yeah. And then we'll have the exit. And yeah, we'll have the exit here. Okay, so then we'll have a normal, or a queue path going from here. There we go. And then the exit path. I'm actually, I don't know. Should have the exit path there? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make this all just pathway right there. Yeah, we'll just have a big old pathway there. Remove that. Should we have a pathway around? So you can walk around the Ferris wheel. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to follow um, what we already have here. Uh, while simultaneously trying to decorate stuff. But at the same time, it's like... Uh, you can't exactly decorate. Pretty hard to decorate. Cancel. Um, I actually want. Oh man, this is gonna be a pain. I, I hate these gates or these fences. No. <laughs> okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> this thing suck. I'm gonna put up a chain link fence. Yeah, chain link fences everywhere. So it's like you're in a prison. <laughs> straight up prison so it's just like you're kind of locked to the area I guess you could say kind of we're going to remove this now and have the We'll shorten up the queue and have the path go right here instead. There we go. Uh, open. Get that out of here. 
Uh, and then normal path. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Well, the reason I'm saying that is because I kind of want to restrict the runway. Uh, and then we can have, like, planes and things. I actually know what pieces these are. <laughs> they just randomly put them in. Like a runway. And then we'll just put rides along the uh, along the edge of the runway. I actually kind of like this tucked in back here. It's pretty nice. Uh, scenery. Give me this. I could block that out. Yeah, because this is all going to be pathway here. I don't mind the pathway being three wide like that. That's fine. <laughs> it almost looks like a uh, uh, like a military base. <laughs> like this is a military runway. Heck yeah. <laughs> Uh, the one thing I did want to look at was decorations, vehicles. It's like we have a plane, but that's the only plane, unfortunately. It's like I could get another plane, I suppose. But yeah, let's put one of these planes like right here. And we'll randomly change the color. Let's grab a red one. Right on the middle of the runway. And let's do a blue one. Okay, a little bit darker than that. There we go. There we go. So we have some planes. And maybe a green one. I should probably lock these to the grid. <laughs> probably get me a little more accurate. And then we already have a red one. What about an orange one? That's like brown. Now give me this. Uh, we don't have a pink one yet. Like purple. Yeah. yeah we can't grab a pink one too. Yeah. All the colors... Uh, teal. Okay. It's like, yeah, we don't have an orange one yet either. Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. Like, the planes are lined up and ready to... They're ready to take flight. Get him a little more straight. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that looks good. What's the decoration on this? Medium, decoration, medium. Seems I don't know if it's the fences or what's going on, but the fences seem to have added some uh, decoration there. Okay, this thing is going to be all of my money, but <laughs> also you got these backwards. <laughs> Your queue is over here for arrivals, departure. Oh, I guess if they're coming back from space, that makes more sense, but whatever. Shut up. <laughs> right. I kind of like this ride, though. 
Yeah, we're going to have to take a part of the runway uh, for some of these types of rides, because, man... It's pretty crazy. Oops, I forgot we can just paint. Yeah. So, yeah, part of the runway's in there. <laughs> Stop painting. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I put. I went to put in the Gravitron, and it's just like, oh my gosh, yeah. We're gonna have to start taking up like runway space. Um, now, unfortunately, I don't think I can put any more rides down. Yeah. Like this one's seven hundred dollars. Four grand. Holy freaking crap, man. This one would be cool, Hangar 18. Like, that'd be a cool ride to put down, but yeah, that's $4,000. Okay, looks like Gravitron. Yeah, we're pretty much out of money, so... We're just gonna have to throw down the Gravitron and... Oh, wait, what? I can't afford that? Oh, no, there's a path there. That's right, uh... So I'm just gonna throw the... Throw the Gravitron here... Okay, can we even afford, like, the cues and stuff? <laughs> uh, we'll put the queue here, and then you can get nice up and close to the airplane while you're queuing. Okay. Open that ride. Open it. Oh, we can't open it. Uh, exit. Exit could be over here. Oops. Uh, yeah, the exit can be there. You usually don't want your exit pads to be too long, because the guests will, um... I don't have enough money. Oh, wow. Uh, false. <laughs> we might have to take out a small load. Uh, five grand loan. Monthly fee is 90%. Take. Remaining loan. So the monthly fee is $45. Okay. Alright, now we have five grand. <laughs> Take out a loan because my crazy park. Um, yeah. Okay, let's see how this does. Hopefully, we got some uh, decent scenery rating. I decided to put some lights, like the runway lights, down the thing, so. Yep, I'm really hoping. <laughs> the decoration's not great, but it ain't bad ish. Like around this right, whoever built this, and, you know, they did a really good job. But, uh, yeah. That one cost me a fortune. There better be people riding it. Oh, that's cool. I guess they can't really have propellers because. <laughs> That'd be a dangerous thing to be swinging around as the ride's going. Not bad, though. Not bad. Here comes the peoples. Um, hide the scenery. Where's my people loading up stuff? Yeah. Where'd my... There's, there... Why'd he, he... He went all the way over there. Whoa! Oh, these are actual people. Okay, I thought people were just walking through that gate. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> There's uh, people going into the shops there. Why do my? Why are my carriers, dude? <laughs> hurry it up! <laughs> I even have to. I even had to take out a loan to be able to make this park work. Oh, 
went in but didn't go. What's wrong with you? What's wrong, huh? Uh, a bit more intense than the plane carousel. I want to go on plane carousel. What the? <laughs> okay. They walked in. I want to go on plane carousel. Got there. I don't want to go on plane carousel. <laughs> Alrighty then. Man, you are taking forever. They've already got this side loaded up. Where's my other guy? I had two guys. Oh, is he doing... Side. The flock of crows? What the heck? Right, how you guys think about this? Ferris wheel's good. Oh, oh. What? You got all the way there and then went, nope. Oh, no, that's my um, janitor. Okay. I thought, my jan I thought somebody went all the way up here and went, nah, changed their mind. <laughs> Been like, what the hell? <laughs> it's working pretty good, though, so far. Are we uh, in the money? Um, we already got a crap ton of people, though. So that's good. Uh, however, yeah. <laughs> I think we're losing. We might be losing money. Actually, no, I don't know. Alright, what do people think about this? Gravitron. Everybody wants to go on Gravitron. Of this ride. Uh, six people want to go on that one. I'm looking for, this was a good deal. Then I'm like, okay, change, time to change sprites. <laughs> yeah, these are still not loaded up yet. I hired two carriers. Where's the other guy? Delivering meat to hot dogs, delivering meat to hamburgers. So there's you. Where's you? Oh. Well, that's why you have an employee path. You don't have to... Come on, get those, get those things loaded. Uh, how's my janitor doing? Pretty good. I didn't hire security. I did hire a mechanic, though. So he can at least keep the rides up and going. Yeah, people like to ride that. Ain't bad. Yeah, we are losing money like crazy. Yeah, because everybody's taking forever. We're already at 100 people. <laughs> that is funny. But yet we're already at 100 people in the park. Everybody's sitting enjoying their food, their drink. Okay. That one's fully stocked. Just got the hot dogs left. That person's pretty unhappy. What are they unhappy about? Your immersion is ruined? Okay. Or the immersion wasn't uh, exactly the best. Yeah, I get that. That's okay. If there was more airport stuff, I would put down more airport decorations, but... I'm not going on there while it's raining. People are like, it was awesome! Are they going to go back right back in? He going, he going off for another go. He going for it. He's like, I'm going for another go. Okay. Oh man, we are losing money like nobody's business. Yeah. <laughs> we are down 262. 
It is running though. How are we doing on uh, our tasks? It was 250 people, wasn't it? Yeah, 250. And, and we need to complete these by end of at the end of next year. So I might have to take out another loan. We'll see. Uh, what I'll do, though, if I do have to take out another loan, what I'll do is I'll take out the loan and then use part of that loan to pay off the other loan. So we're only paying on one. But yeah, this ain't bad, though. Yeah, people are getting their drinks and stuff. Everything. Hey, everything's stocked up. Good job, guys. Finally. Now people are going to be paying. What do you think? Uh, nobody, no, nobody has any thoughts. I can get the whole park thoughts, I believe. Overview. Guests. Balloons. Yeah, all those are open. I guess we haven't been operating long enough to be able to find out that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm going to leave the park entrance low so that we can get uh, a bunch of people in. Because we will think it's a good deal right now. And I want the I want to get that 250 people before I raise it up. Of course, by then, uh, we'll almost have all the tasks done anyway. <laughs> Everybody wants to go on Ferris wheel, dude. Yeah, the Ferris wheel was a good deal. Okay. Uh, two bucks. Alright, what do you guys think? It was a good deal? Okay. Three bucks. What do you guys think? I want to go on something a bit more tense than Gravitron. Gravitron was awesome. I want to go on Gravitron. Okay. That one's... Alright, what do you think? It was a really good deal. Alright. Two bucks. Yeah, it's a, it's a kitty coaster, so I don't expect many people to try and ride it. Um, was a really good deal. Three bucks. Okay, this way we can make money. Man, everybody wants to go on Gravitron. Holy crap. Nobody wants to ride this hardly. More intense. Yeah, once we can afford it, I might put another, we'll put another coaster down here. See, this is the more intense section. I mean, we still got uh, uh, the jumper. Yeah, see, the intensity is medium, so excitement is pretty low, and the excitement is really low on a lot of these. Nobody likes these things. Hopefully the food court does well. I think the food court's what's... Uh, I would say what's keeping us alive, but... Damn. <laughs> How come you don't see cars out in the parking lot? You just see people walking in. We're getting there, though. Um, we might need, like, 250 guests just to get profit. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to fire one of my uh, carrier guys. I think we now that we got it all loaded. Oh yeah, guest overview. Here we go. There are no high intensity rides around here that interest me. It's a really good deal. Space was a good deal. Park inches fee is a good deal. Scenery here is amazing. It's awesome. It was really worth the money. I might, yeah, I might start raising prices. Two bucks. Yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna have to take out a loan because this isn't this isn't working.
I spent too much on, the, on this crap. What we could do is we could take out this loan and then pay off this one entirely. But that's, man, you have to be making quite a bit of money for that that loan to take to be worth it. And if I take out this loan, uh, how much do I have to repay on this one? So we're just not making money. We're in decline. The operating cross costs in the park, I might have to raise the park price because it's just not. Let's go $2. Yeah, it's just not making enough money for us. And we'll give it a little more time and see what happens here. Okay, how do people... This is still a really good deal. Might leave that go a little bit longer. Twenty guests on the ride, yeah. <laughs> Most of them are on the ride. I'll raise that to three bucks. Okay. I'm trying to just slowly tweak each one of these rides until they say it's not a really good deal anymore. And then, still a really good deal. Okay, four bucks. Yeah, that way we can at least start making money because each month is killing us on uh, costs. However, this month might look a little bit better. As long as we keep making money. Oh. A bus dropped off 29 guests who prefer low-intensity rides. Heck yes. Wait, why is this guy sliding? Is he in a wheelchair? What the heck? Oh, look at them all. Oh, heck yeah. Dude. Alright, what do people think? Alright, I've had enough of this park. What? Still a really good deal. Ah, oh, heck yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Bring me the money before I go broke. Ah, oh, heck yeah. All of them people just came in. I'm hoping that, uh... Okay, yeah. I've been t slowly tweaking these as well. Oh my gosh, most of them went for the food. Heck yeah. Get some food, man. Yeah, did we roll into May? Yep, yeah, that's where my money went. <laughs> Every time I, I, I start gaining a little bit, my money it rolls into the next one. We're so close, man. Uh, which is good. We're just so close to the 250. And then sell 400 tickets as well. Minus five bucks. Oh, somebody broke my lamp. What the hell? I don't have any security guards. I can't afford them all, though. <laughs> I think we're pulling out of this, though. I really do. Yeah, look. Now we're in the positive this month. Holy crap. We need to we need to jump over three hundred dollars before the month is over in order to be profitable. Or sorry, five hundred dollars. Yeah, five hundred dollars. You see, all this plus my loan costs. I don't know what this eight. Oh, that was construction. Okay. Yeah, two hundred and eight profit. Uh, this month so far. Oh. Why did that randomly go down? <laughs> Thought we paid everything at the same time. 
I guess we bought some more stuff. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the one thing I don't have is an employee. People are saying, ooh, I heard that. Don't I have, um... I have trash cans near everything, so... I don't, know, I don't see anything. Maybe my janitor cleaned it up already. Sounded like that broke down. <laughs> But I think, like I said, yeah, I think we're, uh, I think we're good, back in the good. What the heck? He puked right next to the freaking, and everybody's tracking in it. Damn. There's a little bit of trash right there. Throw away your trash, you hooligans. There's a lot of people in this park, though. 215, and here comes some more. I need another one of those events, and then that'll push me over the edge. Everybody's spending money here. And one guy got pissed off. He's like, I had enough of this park. But yeah, the guest thoughts. Yeah. Park entrance is a really good deal. Only one says park entrance is a really good deal. So we're right at that cusp, I think. We're good. Yeah. Park entrance is just cheap enough. Which is good. Plus we have the ATM if uh, people need more money so they can stay longer. No, come back. Don't leave. Okay, they're not leaving. Good. Don't don't go. <laughs> stay, please. Stay. There's, there's food, drink, bathroom. You, you don't need to go home. Uh, we're getting there, though. We're profitable. Holy crap, we're in June, and we were profitable last month. Oh, my gosh. We're making money. A lot of people are hanging around this area. It's good. Okay, let's see. Yep, that one's good. Still a really good deal, huh? Okay. Here's in the price. Alright, that one's good, that one's good. This one. Still a really good deal, alright. Raising the price. <laughs> How's this one? Okay, yeah, not many people want to ride this one. It's, it's unfortunate, but it is. A popular vlogger made a, made a video about riding. The guests will have an increased customer for a time. Very cool. So, uh... Yeah, that's awesome. About which one? Wipeout. Which one's this one? They like to wipe out. Oh, heck yeah, now everybody's going on the, the, on the wipeout. Uh, and I bet we're going to have increased customer coming in as well. We're at 220, so we're uh, we're almost uh, uh, once we get past that 250 mark, uh, that'll be the one task done. Uh, and then this one is sell 400 tickets, and we get five grand for that. No, it's broken. Crap. Of course. Where's uh? pause that. Where's my... I need to quickly hire a dude. Uh, hire... Where's our Where's our mechanic at? He's way over here doing me other mechanic things. Okay. We're going to hire another mechanic to fix this because, man, we're right in the middle of something. So, right, you fix that. And then you're fired. <laughs> and then get out of here. No, fix the ride. No, where are you going? Oh, here you go. Okay, you got your wrench. You got a big old pipe wrench. Cool. Now, you're fired. <laughs> it just poofed out of existence. <laughs> uh, oh, we're in decline on our on our people now. Some people left, I guess. 
Oh, we're still making money, though. Oh no, it's raining! No! Oh no, it's nighttime. Never mind. I thought it was gonna start raining. Like, no! And nobody wants to go on Gravitron. They want to go on something a bit more intense than Gravitron. This is still popular, so... There are people liking it. Everybody wants to go on Wipeout, okay. Just checking the... Okay. The price is no longer a good deal. That's good. Uh, this is still a really good deal. Alright, four dollars. That might be a bit much. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, Alright. 26 more people. And we'll have that... Uh, We'll have that one done. Which is the non-optional goal. Oh, some people left. Dang it. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just going to have to take another one. Because, yeah, even though we're making money, it's, it's very slow. I had to hire a second generator, too. Which is unfortunate. But I need a new ride because I cannot get over this 220. I've gotten up to 225 and then that's and then it just goes right back down, so. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to take it out of the Nine grand, these went up. These were eight grand. I guess they change over time. Well, see, if we do nine grand, we could pay back this loan here. Yeah, let's do nine grand and then. Yeah. Wait, are we not paying on this? We pay. Okay, well, we repaid the loan. Then we have four grand to spare. I'm thinking... Like, Jumper could be good. Moon base. Ah, we'll just grab the Jumper. It's like, or we could grab another coaster, I guess. Oh, these are expensive, though. I mean, I don't have that kind of money. Except for this one. Oh, it's not bad. Ooh, this one's not bad, either. Medium, low. Now, I need something more intense. I already have this one. Uh, I guess Junior Coaster? What do we got? Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to see if there's one that's like related. Damn! <laughs> Do you see that coaster? And that bottom one. Do you have any, like, higher intensity rides? Probably not. These are all low. Low. Medium. Not that one. Medium and low. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no higher intensity rides. Wild Mouse. Cheese Chasers. Low. Medium. High nausea, jeez. Medium. I don't I can't even get that one anyway. Low. 
Yeah, it's like, wasn't there a coaster called the Wild Mass? Uh, like an actual coaster. Like, not this. Uh, not this, but there was an actual coaster called the Wild Mouse, and it was a mouse. Something like that. Yeah, coasters is just not in my best interest, I don't think. A new ride, though. Or a couple new rides, maybe. Put that one there. Then we'll do the same here and here. And then we'll throw down another ride. So we don't have this one either. Okay. Oh wait, I was pushing. Destroy that one. Get out of the selection. Uh, destroy that one. Put them back down. Put them... Yeah, here we go. So, there. And then this one. Grab our cues. Oh, there's no path there. <laughs> I was just like, why isn't it connecting? It's because there's no freaking path there. <laughs> okay. Let's get us a path to go all the way down. There we go. And now what I can do... Decor... Let's pull out our fence. Or decor's hidden. Uh, there we go. Get up our fences. This will hopefully make me some more money. Because, <laughs> man, I am struggling. But I guess my main goal, though, is just to get more people in the park. That is, uh, that is my main goal. And if we have more rides, well, more people are going to come in. Yeah, because getting over, there we go. See, now I've got a boost in my, uh, my people that are coming in, so. And then, of course, uh, grab our trash bins. Got to put a trash bin outside of each one of these rides. Otherwise, people end up puking all over the thing. And yeah, people are destroying my freaking benches and everything over here. Oops. Up oh, there goes that path. Like, this lamp right here is broken, too. So is that bench. Dang it. <laughs> Stop destroying my stuff. Yeah. Bitches all the way along. Down. Like, well, crap. Did 
something like that, I believe. Dang it, I just can't get up to that 242, huh? Is my dang mechanic? I guess we'll just hire. We'll just have to hire another one and just deal with it. Because I need my mechanic to go around and fix all these damn lights. And stuff. Okay. I still can't get over that 250 mark. <laughs> Somebody's going around vandalizing. Oh, this dude right here. Get the... F the heck out of my park. I guess we gotta hire a security guard. Okay, I, I'm stupid about the loan system, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not going to repay any of that. I don't need that. I don't, need to. I don't think I need to, anyway. So you don't have to repay any of your loans. <laughs> you can just take out a loan, and then it just sits there. Yeah, the reason I took out so much money is because we need a new ride. One that has, like... Yeah, this one has... Well, it has stuff I don't have. I need one with medium intensity. Uh, a lot of this stuff... Oh, this one has medium intensity. Has no, uh... Decorations, but I'm fine with that, to be honest. Yeah, we're gonna put that, like, right there. Oh, the entrance and exit are on the opposite sides. Uh, yeah, so the exit I'm going to put here. Yeah, we'll put the entrance, or the exit here. And we're going to have a nice long queue. Oh, how do you get the queues out of here? Okay. Let's close this ride. Yeah, we'll just put the answers on here, just make it simple. Okay, uh, Q. Good work. That path. It's like I just need something with some medium intensity so we get some we get some rides up in here. How's this one? Jumper's good. Go. Like there. <laughs> That'll hopefully get, uh, yeah, because I still cannot get over this, um, I can't get over this amount now that people are leaving. Somebody just broke one of my lights, or did they just fix one? They might have just fixed one. I've been banning, um, a lot of people. 
<laughs> yeah, he's he's going around fixing our lamps and benches and things. Oh, I hide the. Oh yeah, look at this freaking janitor. What the hell? I got two janitors in this park, and they never seem to do anything. What are you... Oh, you're cleaning the bathroom. Okay. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> it will hire an entertainer. Uh, shark, robot, scarecrow, knight, princess, sheriff. Ooh, sheriff. I can decorate. Howdy, partner. Yeah, he can be an entertainer. Oh, I just heard somebody break something. I thought it was over here. Somebody's over here breaking our... our stuff, but I can't find him. I'm not looking in the right spot. Yeah, you'll know because I'll have a bandana. Oh, there he is. Band. Get the hell out of my freaking park. Piece of crap. Because <laughs> every now and again we get it. Oh, there's another one. Oh yeah, we don't have any, um... Trash bins over here. Should probably get a trash bin for this one. It lagged as I put that down. Okay. And fences. Oops. Gotta have our fencing. No more vandals. <laughs> hey, we completed our goal. Finally. And there's another vandal. I, I found you. Nope. Oh, get out. Stop breaking my crap. We even completed all the goals. Almost. Um, all the vandals have left the park. Okay, good. Finally. I've been having vandals go like crazy, man. Okay, that's him fixing it, I believe. Yeah, I just had a whole crap load of vandals. Yeah, we need another security guard. You yeah, gotta sell 400 tickets, we're at 320, so we're getting there. I guess we'll hire another security guard. There we go. Freaking vandals. <laughs> like, literally, I've been fighting with them for, like, the past half hour. <laughs> oh, the park was showcased by a popular content creator. We're going to see an increase in visitors for a time. Nice. That'll give me my ticket sales that I need. Um. Yeah, we're we're not making money anymore at this point. I take it out all the loans. <laughs> it's like no way.
What am I looking for? Oh, I was looking for, um... This thing, I'm finally putting this in. <laughs> You're finally putting one of those in. That's hidden, by the way. Nobody can see that, which is cool. Because all this is all wall right here. Alright. Still got a lot of broken lights. But at least I don't have... I don't think I have any more vandals. Um, oh yeah, look at all these people coming in. I'm almost there, too. Almost there. Yep, just need to do that, and we get a five grand reward. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, five grand reward. Not that it matters, but yeah, we got the park done. <laughs> it is not profitable. <sighs> yeah. But we completed all the goals. Uh, all the goals have been completed. It said you complete all the goals before this one was done, but this one's optional, which does give you a nice reward. Nice healthy reward. Alright. So, I wonder what we can do about that, uh, that loan there. Yep. Just give them all our money. Oh, we can't pay that. Hold on. We pay. 17 grand. Yep, and we still have... Whoops. Yeah, the remaining loan is 13. So, nice. And we're actually not too bad. I just paid, well, I just paid a bunch of money. But, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. I, the, the window's still gone. So when it rains. But yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad scenario. Yeah, we're, we're in the hole now. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, we are done. Where's the solution? Where's that one save I had? Meadows, flat terrain, large. Huh. That save since it disappeared. I will save that. Save and quit. Also, uh, just just so you're aware, um, this right here, the twister coaster. Uh, Twister 2, I just created um, earlier today, I believe, before I started recording. Uh, has high excitement, high intensity, high nausea. <laughs> $25,000, but it is uploaded to the workshop. So should you wish to uh, just look for that name and you'll find it. Uh, I wonder if I can... Can I... No, I can't pull that up. Oh, because I don't have the coaster research, of course. But yeah, we are, uh, we're done with that scenario. Heck yeah. You can play this scenario in sandbox mode now. Alright, cool. There's two ways to go. We can either go to Western Roundup. 500 guests in your park. Happening 75%. Sell 800 tickets. And then the only optional is to complete all non-optional objectives <laughs> before the descent before the end of the second year, basically. Wow, that one's uh, that one's going to be hard to accomplish. And then this one, Victoria Lake, uh, have at least three hundred guests in your park, have no loan debt. Um, so I'm guessing you're going to start out with a loan. Is that is that what that is? Optional: have at least hundred guests in your park. Optional, have at least 200 guests in your park. Optional, complete all non-optional. So the only two um, 
the only two ones you need to complete by pretty almost the end of the year too is the 300 guests and then have no loans um so yeah we might be doing that one um next which is uh with flat empty land and ample space for expansion the surrounding area of victoria lake lends itself to uh, itself perfectly for a recreational destination it is your task to turn this beautiful nature setting into a lakeside amusement park. Very nice. And then this one. Uh, an old Wild West town that's seen better days. If you can uh, get past the heat, there's a lot of space for a large, for a large amusement park. Very nice. Uh, that'd be a good place for a wooden coaster, too. Um, but yeah, my coaster is very expensive, but... It is also really cool. So, but uh, yep, the one of these two scenarios will have to be uh, next. I change map. There's multiple maps. Oh my gosh, the taste of adventure. Oh wait, is that the only one? Oh, this must be okay. That's part of another. That's like scenario stuff. I'm actually super enjoying the scenario stuff. It's been fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, those, one of those two will have to be next time. So, uh, yeah. But like I said, uh, that is going to be it for this episode of Parkitect. Oh, and before you go, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of the investors you can see here. Seriously, thank you. You guys are awesome. It is much appreciated. And until next time, I guess it's a goodbye.